Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is one of the most requested reviews by you guys, which is comparing three of the most highly advertised and marketed Miracle Cure car sealants in the form of F11 Top Coat, The Last Coat, and Shine Armor. Now if you're into detailing, you simply can't get onto your social media feed without seeing one or all of these products continuously being plastered all over your pages and claiming to be the best and end all when it comes to paint protection and maintenance for your vehicle. So in this review, I'm going to put these three sealants through their paces, evaluating them in areas such as their user experience, gloss levels, hydrophobic behavior, durability and chemical resistance, so that when it comes time to spending your hard-earned money, you can make a well-informed decision. Additionally, for a reference, I'm also going to be using them side by side with one of my personal favorite sealants to see how they perform against a proven quality sealant. And just before we get to the review, I want to lastly add that it was quite expensive purchasing all these products for this review, as they honestly aren't cheap in the least. So I really hope you guys enjoy and appreciate this review. To start with, I polished a black panel to remove any scratches and swirls and then placed it outside for a week to accumulate some dust and dirt. Now according to the brands of both F11 Top Coat and Shine Armor, they can also be used as waterless washers to initially clean the paint while sealing it. But as far as I know, the last coat doesn't state this, and the other sealant I'll be using, which is Novajet, certainly isn't a waterless wash. In any case, I decided to start this review off by giving this panel a clean with all these products to see if some of them are in fact safe to be used as waterless washers. And I additionally used CarPro Echo 2 Waterless Wash as a comparison, as I know it's a safe waterless wash product. So the test was really all about seeing if any new swirls appeared in each of the sections after giving them a gentle, water-free clean with the sealants to try and determine if any of them really are safe and swirl-free waterless wash products. Now I know it may be hard to see in the footage, which is also why I took the panel outside to have a look under some diverse lighting. But the section that was cleaned with CarPro Echo 2 really had next to no new swirls or wash scratches, while all the other sections did in fact have fresh swirl marks to varying degrees. Now it's not like the paint has been completely scratched up or anything like that, but you have to appreciate that this was just one quick gentle wash with these products that resulted in a few dozen swirls. So you have to understand that the next wash will result in a few more dozen swirls and so on, so that after just a few months of weekly washes, this paint is gonna be trashed. Now, I would actually accept that some of these products may help reduce swirls compared to just using water to wipe down and clean your paint. But compared to a dedicated and quality car wash such as CarPro Ego 2, I just don't feel based on my testing that any of these sealants are going to be a good or safe alternative in the long run. But you guys can certainly try them out for yourselves and draw your own conclusions based on your own experience. Next was applying these sealants on a swirled and haze panel to evaluate their ability to add gloss and enhance automotive paint. And while I'm applying them, I'll discuss their user experience. Now leading up to this review, I spent quite a bit of time applying these sealants side by side to get a better feel for them. 
Starting with F11 top coat, I have to say that this is a super easy and pleasurable product to work with. And I'll also add that it's the quickest out of the bunch as it basically evaporates before your very eyes, leaving next to no residue to wipe off and requiring next to no effort. So it really gets a lot of points in this area. In slight contrast, the last coat feels more like your typical spray sealant, having a bit more grab and taking a little more effort to wipe down streak free. Though it's honestly not bad at all, just not crazy easy like F11. Shine Armor is yet again a little different, perhaps sitting in the middle of the two where it feels more like your standard quick detailer to apply. So it's a little easier, quicker and more forgiving to work with compared to the last coat, which almost feels like applying a slick and self-evaporating cleaning alcohol. Additionally, Shine Armor does smell really great, so it gets extra points for that. Novajet will be closer to the last coat as far as user experience goes compared to the rest but perhaps even a touch more grippy and what you'd normally expect from a full strength spray sealant. So all in all guys, F11 is just crazy easy to use. Shine Armor is very easy and the last coat is reasonably easy to use. So compared to most quality car sealants out on the market, these products will be above average from a user perspective and will be quite forgiving and easy to work with as a whole, even for beginners. After allowing the panel to cure for a day, the next test was evaluating their ability to add gloss, saturation and improve the finish of automotive paint. Starting with F11 top coat, I have to say that it's quite disappointing in its ability to add gloss to the paint. As, as you can hopefully see, it's done very little to improve this swirled and hazed up panel in the way of gloss or really having much of a noticeable impact at all. Now it's done something, but you really have to squint your eyes to see it. In complete contrast, I also have to say that I was pleasantly surprised with how good of a job the last coat did by comparison. As you can hopefully see, it's noticeably improved the paint's finish, adding increased gloss and saturation to this paint, as well as filling in some of the haze and swirls. Shine Armor was more or less identical to F11, doing very little to improve the finish of the paint. Though if I had to say one was better than the other, perhaps Shine Armor was just a touch better than F11, but there really wasn't a substantial difference. As a whole, the section with Nova Jet was the best overall in relation to gloss. But to be fair to the last coat, it was actually close and just a step down by comparison. While F11 and Shine Armor were several steps behind and really way below par in this area. The next test was evaluating the feel or slickness that each of these products leave in the finish of automotive paint. Now as a whole, there really weren't any bad products in this area as all of them did quite well. However, there were some standouts starting with both F11 Top Coat and Shine Armor that were quite easily the two slickest of the bunch. And it was actually quite difficult to separate them in this area as they both performed equally well. But based on the lack of friction with my coating bottle sliding down them, as well as how they feel to the touch, I think that F11 just edged forward a little in this area. Third place went to the last coat that was by no means bad in this area as it was quite slick with a low friction feel. With fourth place going to Novajet that as I mentioned was still nice and slick but just not quite as silky smooth as the others.
So on to having a look at the hydrophobic qualities or water behaviour that these sealants create on automotive paint. Now as I continue to use diverse water spray patterns and amounts of water on these panels, you'll hopefully start to see a bit of a difference in how well some of these sealants are able to sheet and bead the water, while others struggle a little in this area. At the very bottom of this bunch, in relation to hydrophobic behaviour, Shine Armour has to take last place here, with the slowest water sheeting rates and flattest water bead contact angles that really aren't what you'd expect from a high quality and performing spray sealant. This was closely followed by F11 Top Coat that honestly wasn't all that much better in relation to its hydrophobic behaviour, displaying equally flat and irregular water bead contact angles with somewhat slow water sheeting rates that were all in all just a very slight step better than Shine Armour. In complete contrast, I was once again quite surprised at how well the last coat performed here, really having a night and day difference compared to both Shine Armour and F11, as it really did display fairly rapid water shedding rates and tight circular propped up water beads. Novajet was again the best overall performer here, but I want you guys to understand that Novajet is a real hydrophobic beast, so for the last coat to be just a step or two down compared to Jet actually says a lot about it. The final test was testing these sealants chemical resistance, which is generally a good way to predict their resistance to environmental and traffic contamination to predict durability. Now as you guys see me apply the chemical a little more lightly in a spray and rinse method to start with, and then a little more heavily in a spray, work it in and then rinse it off method, you'll hopefully see that the results were actually quite similar to the previous hydrophobic test. So Shine Armour was once again the most heavily affected by the chemical and just about lost all its hydrophobic behaviour after just a light hit with the chemical. Only faring marginally better was F11 that also had very little resistance to the chemical and was almost immediately stripped off the paint. The last coat fed much better after the initial chemical test still showing some fairly decent hydrophobic behaviour which was miles ahead of F11 and Shine Armour. And although the second and more aggressive application of the chemical did affect it quite noticeably, it was still actually hanging in there. Navajet, as I expected, did extremely well here due to its increased chemical resistance, but for me the last coat was the big unexpected surprise in this test. Now the main reason I work so hard on formulating these product tests, searching for good camera angles and the best possible lighting, is that so these reviews are as clear and transparent in the footage as possible, giving you at home the most valuable and easy to evaluate information. 
So rather than looking at some footage that really doesn't show you anything of value and purely relies on me telling you what I think, I want you guys to draw your own conclusions and understand that my opinions are my own and are made up of my personal experience with these products which may differ to yours. And I'm not looking to push my thoughts onto you or hurt anyone or any brand in the process. I'm just trying to share valuable information in a detailing industry that I love that I also hope some of you find helpful and appreciate. So having said that, as you guys have a look at the hydrophobic behavior and chemical testing on the previous first test panel, I'll just sum up this video with my personal conclusions. On a positive note, all these social media spray sealants are just a pleasure and so easy to use while leaving your paint feeling silky smooth. So they are nice in that way. But I really have to separate F11 top coat and shine armor to the last coat because they really aren't the same. In my opinion, F11 and Shine Armor are nothing more than pleasurable and easy to use quick detail sprays that feel or even smell nice but do next to nothing to enhance the paint, create positive self-cleaning water behavior, or contain the durability that you'd expect from a high strength, durable and well-performing spray sealant. The last coat, however, is a different matter. It's not as silky smooth or ridiculously easy to use but more like how you'd expect a quality sealant with a decent active content to apply and behave, as well as improve gloss levels, hydrophobic behavior, and have a good resistance to chemical or environmental influences. Now, did the last coat blow my mind or set a new standard for what a quality spray sealant should be? The answer is no. But in saying that, it's by all accounts a good solid spray sealant that's in a completely different realm to F11 and Shine Armor, which honestly guys are just a fantastic example of what some relentless marketing can do for really any product. My advice as always is to use the products that you personally like and make you happy. But just be aware that not all manufacturers are entirely honest about their claims and anything that seems too good to be true, well, you know how it goes. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon. Why